Yeah, what's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Prison Break Raw. I'm your host, the one and only Big JD. A lot of people ask me how I served such a little bit amount of time for a bank robbery when the newspaper said that I'm facing a maximum penalty of 20 years. Now I'm going to break down to you the federal sentencing guidelines because it's obvious Of course, here on YouTube, you have the minions of the boob tubers that'll send their little fuckboys out to do all their work for them, hiding behind computer screens and all that other shit, don't have the balls to show their face for nothing. So-called armchair experts on YouTube that read a couple of fancy words out of a book and they think they know everything, typical fucking ignorant retards that don't know nothing. So I feel I'm going to go ahead and break this all down to you because it should be broken down. You should know the facts about all of this. How is it that I got the sentence that I got for a bank robbery? You would think that a bank robbery is like a huge deal. Well, you can go to the federal prison system and you can see a lot of drug dealers that are in there mad as fuck that a bank robber gets less time than them for pushing dope. And this is true. And then the embezzlers would get even madder at the drug traffickers because they get more time than them. It's weird how the feds work. You could get a murder in the feds, and you may not get life. You may just get 20 years, whatever it is. So it is true that under the U.S. Code, that a maximum penalty for bank robbery would be 20 years. That falls under what's called the old law. It's still on the books. It's still written as it is. I mean, shit. In a lot of states, horse thieves, horse thievery, stealing horses is still a hangable offense. Sodomy in some states are still on the books as a crime. Up until recent, in some states, interracial marriage was still on the books as against the law. You catch the drift, right? The government is lazy. They don't ever update any of this stuff. So it'll still say maximum penalty of 20 years, 10 years, whatever the fuck. But basically, what goes now in the feds falls under what's called the old new law or the new new law, which basically means you fall under a table called the sentencing guidelines. Now, follow with me here. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and Google sentencing guidelines and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So a bank robbery will also fall under the sentencing guidelines. You have the base offense that goes down from from one all the way down to like 50 or something or other like that. Bank robbery falls into 22. When you admit responsibility and you basically go without a shot fired, you're taken into custody, you plead guilty, you don't take it to trial, you get points taken off from that base offense, so you get moved down to a base offense of 19. Now, what goes across is what's called your criminal history category, categories one to six. Because of my criminal history in California, I ended up in a category five. Category five, sentencing guidelines, you fall within 57 to 71 months. Look at it right here. This is the sentencing guidelines. Here's your base offense down on the on the side going down. Look at 19. Now scroll over to category 5. 57 to 71 months. And that's what I got. 71 months. 71 months is just one, one month short of six years. With the 85% or actually 87% of your time, you're doing about five years. As a matter of fact, you're doing five years. Now, that five years counts from in custody, and that five years also counts for when you're in the halfway house or if you're on home confinement, all the way to your sentence ending date of which your probation will start on that date. My time started from September 28, 2012, and it ended in November 2017. I was released from federal custody around January 10th, 2017. Went into the halfway house, was still in the custody of the, of the Bureau of Prisons. 
This is the way the feds work. Now, how would somebody get less than that? You can get what's called a downward departure. If you're a rat, if you don't really have any criminal history, if you're in a category that doesn't like reflect the time or doesn't accurately reflect who you are or, or maybe some characteristics about you, you might be a little mental, you might be a little slow, you might be borderline retarded, you know, like a lot of these boob tubers, right? Your attorney could ask for what's called a downward departure or a safety valve. A lot of times these things are reserved for people that cooperate. In your PSI, it'll say you got a downward departure. It'll say if you have a safety valve. It just so happens that my judge gave me the max, 71 months. And he would have given me 20 years if he could have gotten away with it. You can get what's called an upward departure, where the judge will move you to category six and give you even more time. But there has to be some, in, some circumstances to, to justify that. Either I took it to trial, I took the cops on a wild speed chase, I resisted and fought them, maybe shot at them or whatever. They can bump you up. They can give you an upward departure, downward departure the other way. Even if, let's say, for example, Eve, let's say that I got caught. And I'm like, I'll tell you anything you want. I'll tell you anything you want. I'll give everybody up. I'll rat. I'll be a rat. Can I get less time? Well, the problem with that theory right there is the fact that I'm a single defendant in a single indictment of bank robbery. Even if I wanted to be a dirty fucking lowdown S and Y. PC gang fucking snitch. It wouldn't have worked because there's nothing to snitch on. What was it? What am I? The only person that I could snitch on is myself. So I fell within my guidelines. This is how the feds work. So if you're thinking about robbing a bank or anything like that, and you believe that you might get 20 years, just know that's the old law. Maybe if you were doing it in 1981, you'd be looking at 20 years. But you fall under the sentencing guidelines, whatever your category is at. I've seen some people go in there for bank robbery and only get two years. Especially if it's without a gun, and especially if the money is less than like $10,000. So I hope this clears this up for some people that were asking questions. I have people in my DM lately asking me about it. You got other weirdos out there talking about it. None of these people have ever been in the federal system. And for some of you out there that have done federal time and watch this channel right here, drop a comment and tell me what you got in your sentencing guidelines, where you landed, what was your category? Did you get a safety valve? Did you get a downward departure? Because like I said, there's many different reasons why somebody could get a downward departure, but for the most part, it's really reserved for rats. So do the math. September 2012 until November 2017 sounds a lot like five years to me, five years on a six-year sentence, or one month less than six years. Don't need to fucking explain it any more than that. Doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure this one out either. Do your own research. Look up sentencing guidelines. Tell me what you come up with. Drop me a comment. You already know what it is. You heard it right here. Prison break raw, uncut, uncensored, no holds barred, non-sugarcoat, not politically correct, all up in your face, slapping you with that dickery reality in a mouth.